on guys we're back again with another win pe review today we're going to take a look at one of the classics that has kind of been revamped over the uh, last few years or so that's here in boot cd uh, this looks a little different to you i'm using virtual box today it seemed to um, give me a little less issues with booting some of these win pe environments so let's jump into the ultimate usb version 2 if you guys haven't seen this before this is a custom USB that I put together, and this is hands down the greatest USB drive on the planet Earth. So make sure you head over to my shop, bootableusbs.com, and pick one up for yourself. I took a lot of time to put this together, uh, testing everything, giving you a ultimate collection of IT tools, um, entertainment, you name it. There's all kinds of stuff on there. I won't go into detail on this, but I've got another video I'll link to you guys if you haven't seen it where I cover in detail the Ultimate USB version 2. But today we're going to be taking a look at Heron's Boot CD, so let's jump in. Alright guys, we got that loaded up. A lot faster in VirtualBox. I'll have to see what's going on with my VMware player. Uh, but anyways, this is the Heron's Boot CD PE Windows 10. Very nice. Like I said, one of the most well-known WinPE environments out there. Uh, we did a couple recently of the lesser known with uh, DLC Boot and the all-in-one SRT or System Rescue Toolkit. And they were lackluster to say the least. They kind of flopped on us. So... We're going to go back to one of the big dogs here today and do a, a quick review to see what Heron's looks like uh, in this day and age. Probably a lot different if you're been in IT, if you've been in IT for a while and you had the old Heron's. This probably looks quite a bit different to you. So let's jump in here and poke around a little bit, guys. As you can see, we've got a couple really good browsers. We've got Chrome and Firefox included. We've got Notepad plus plus. We've got the old school Notepad and we've got a snipping tool. So right away I really like the layout. It's clean, it's sleek to the point, and it has some utilities that I'd like to see right away, or some tools. So speaking of utilities, I see a folder here on the desktop called Utilities. Just want to poke around and see how they've laid things out here, guys. Another thing to note is upon boot this will run through and try to grab network settings for you so that's great to get you connected right away. We've got a calculator, here's the PE network that would get us into the network configuration. I'm not going to jump online right now or on network with this or um, no need to for this demo anyway. But we've got a regedit tool, again Chrome Windows Explorer so this feels like Windows 10 to me, it really does, it doesn't feel like PE which is great. Okay, then we come over here, and again, we've got a lot of stuff that you would see in a full-blown uh, Windows environment. We've got our File Explorer, and then all of our different classic menus there. You got a Favorites, you can start pinning stuff there if you needed to or wanted to. you got Control Panel, curious to see what this looks like. Okay, the classic Control Panel here. Looks like we're back in Windows 7 or XP, but that's cool. Nice. A lot of options here, so we can really configure this operating system in Heron's. Image disk virtual disk driver, okay. ECS. There we go, we've got to double click some of this stuff. It is working though. I want to give this a test because like I said in DLC it looked really good, but then we started clicking into things and nothing really seemed to work. So ECS, I'm not sure what that's supposed to be, but that is not loading up for me. Some of these are not loading up. Looks like the looks like the built-in utilities load up fine, but I'm not sure what some of these others are supposed to be. These are different control panel items, obviously, but they're not launching. That's okay. I'm more interested in seeing what they did with the utilities. Is this the only way to get to them, or is there another menu, all programs? So they took a more classic approach with the um, way that they've laid out the files and the utilities. So we've got a BCD MBR tool, so if you need to fix your boots, 
or your boot records. Uh, this is where you'd go. You got a couple of them there. Let's make sure they launch boot ice. That does launch. Let's take a look at the other one there. Looks like it'll pin your recent program, so that's nice. Easy BCD. That launches as well. That's good. Things are working. That's always a plus, right? Okay, I know uh, Herons is my buddy Chris over at Cheryl Technologies, one of his favorites. So maybe he can give us some more details on you know how he navigates through things in here. But it is pretty classic the way they've laid it out. Nothing fancy like we saw over on DLC with a special UI for all the utilities and categories, which was nice, but again, they didn't work, so thumbs down on that one. All right, so we've got some hard disk tools, some data recovery tools here. Quite a few, a couple that you've probably heard of. Recuva, and then you've got the Laysoft. Um, this is also a recovery tool. Peer and data recovery. Let's just spot check a couple of these, make sure they're working. They open right up, so that's awesome. Very good. All right, let's jump back into the utilities here. We looked at hard disk tools. So it looks like this is a similar layout, so we could just navigate it from here, probably be a little quicker. Accessibility, so you've got a narrator and an ease of access center. Administrative tools, that's nice. We've got disk management. These are all like your baked in Windows tools. Uh, your services.msc, device manager, computer management, hard disk tools, we just looked at that. Oh, they broke them down a little better here, so that's cool. So the data recovery, we saw that. Uh, diagnostics for hard drives, nice. Gave us quite a few here, that's good. Crystal, I'm a fan of them, they make good utilities. Let's spot check one, why not? There you go, fires right up, guys. I'm loving it. This is... This is a WinPE environment that just does what it's supposed to do, and that's probably why so many people still use Herons, right? They're, I mean, in my opinion, it's it may not be the top dog, but it's always going to be up there. Um, nice. Now we're looking at partition tools, guys. I know I kind of went on a side tangent there, but we've got AOMI. We've got EZA. See, again, Disk Genius. This is what I'm talking about. You put good utilities that just work on your WinP environment and don't try to reinvent the wheel and go crazy, right? And I think that's what some of these lesser known guys are doing. They're putting in utilities that no one's heard of and maybe they're good utilities, but if you're trying to reach a broad audience, not a lot of people know about them. And in the case of DLC, they didn't even work, right? So I like this, I appreciate this. This is the fundamentals. I think that's what I was trying to say. Herons does it right. They stick to the fundamentals and they give you something that you can use, right? So there's a defrag tool. We don't really use that much nowadays, but maybe on some older systems. We've got some imaging tools. Nice. So boom, look at that. A Cronus True Image, one of the best. Of course, you're going to include it. Why? Because it works. It's a good utility. Aomi Backer Upper, same thing there. You got a Macrium Reflect. I haven't used that one, but I have heard of it. So very good. I mean, so far it's it's two thumbs up for Herons. Um, I like the layout. The only thing I would say is this classic file explorer. There's nothing wrong with it, but if they wanted to make it a little more uh, flashy, they could maybe integrate a different type of UI or utility to display all these. But now we're into the hard disk tool security guys, and we've got some low-level formatter tools. So this will do, you know, multiple passes and, and write out all the, it'll write zeros across your drive where you can do combinations in some cases. So very cool. Let's see what else we've got here. If you didn't know, I mean, I did a video on it as well, but when you delete stuff off a hard drive, it's not really deleted. It's just removing the pointers. So the data is still there until your hard disk actually writes over those sectors again. Um, not a lot of people know that. If you're in IT, you might. But yeah, make sure if you're getting rid of a hard drive or you're selling a computer or returning a computer or something like that, you run a low-level format, a DOD wipe, so to speak, because your data is still there. And if anyone has a utility or a little bit of knowledge, they can get your data. Uh, but if you run that low-level format, they won't be able to recover anything. So important note there. All right, guys, now we're on to the other tools section. And we've again, we've got some good ones here. We've got free office utilities. 
And then we've got 7-Zip. I'm sure everyone's heard of that. WordPad, VLC, one of my favorites. Notepad++. If you do any type of, um, well, maybe not so much developing, but if you're in IT, you've probably heard of Notepad++. It's like a Notepad on steroids. You've got FS Viewer. So these free Office, I haven't used this, but I've seen this a couple times. I'm, I use more like Libre when I um, don't have an Office license on a system or it's not Windows. I tend to gravitate more towards those, but maybe I'll have to check these out sometimes. Exam Diff Pro, I'm assuming this is like a, uh, maybe similar to Beyond Compare or something where you can get the differences between two files or Word documents, things like that. So pretty good selection there. On to security. Nice, we have a antivirus section, and I love it. Absolutely love it, guys. Look at this. ESET, Kaspersky. I don't know, McAfee, I'm not a huge fan, but it's there. And Malwarebytes. So they didn't go crazy and put 50 things in here, but they stuck to the fundamentals and they got it right again. I love it. All right, so passwords. Looks like we've got a password recovery. This is probably all password recoveries, yeah. So you're going to be able to unlock um, Windows accounts reset passwords on Windows accounts and things like that. So every WinPE environment needs some solid utilities like this that just work. So let's just launch one, make sure it works. Boom, right there, came right up. And I'm using a VM that doesn't have an underlying OS installed, so that's why we're getting this. But if we did boot to this from a USB uh, on a laptop or something that had Windows underneath, we'd be able to unlock those accounts and edit the uh, passwords and things of that nature. All right, so this is a great utility as well or a couple of them here, but the purpose of this is to find your product keys. So maybe you installed Office, you know, five years ago, you have no idea what the product key is. This will show you. Uh, or utilities that you can't go in there and manually see the key after it's activated. So that's a great one to have as well. So far, I mean, this is definitely a two thumbs up. This is going to be that top shelf, um, definitely up at the top shelf with some of the big dogs here for WinPE environments. Windows Recovery. We've got one here, lay soft Windows Recovery, and look at that guys, boom, comes right up. I love it. Everything is fast. Like I said, it's not so fancy. You don't have like this special UI or anything. They kept it basic, fundamentals, and it's responsive. It just works. I think that's very important when you build something. It's got to work. All right, so we're under accessories now, guys. We've got some basics that are definitely good. Snipping tool, I appreciate they put that in there. Paint, why not? Uh, Reg Edit, Notepad, Disk Management, Calculator, and Explorer. So very nice. We looked at these already. Uh, even tested one. It launched right up. These are your uh, boot record utilities to help you if you can't boot into Windows. Uh, here we are with Network. Okay, PE Network, Chrome, I appreciate that. Acrylic Wi-Fi, Mozilla, and then Arrow Admin. Not sure what this one is. Why not launch it? And what do you know? It launches right up. Okay, so this is just like a, a remote connectivity tool, kind of like TeamViewer or something like that. So nice if you need to help someone remotely. Uh, sometimes you have family members that aren't, you know, in the same house or could be in another state and you fire something like that up, give them a code, and you can jump on their computer and help them out. So cool they put that on there. CD Burner XP and Rufus. These are removable drive utilities. Definitely used Rufus before. I haven't used this one. Maybe this is older. I tend to gravitate towards Ventoy nowadays. System tools. Okay, we've got RegShot, Registry Backup. That's cool. Uh, Sys oh, Sys Internal Suite. Look at this, guys. Herons is, is great. I just want to emphasize that again. It's not flashy. I know I probably sound like a broken record at this point, but nothing flashy about it, but man, they really drilled into the fundamentals and got things right. If you guys don't know about Sys Internals, uh, if you work in IT and you have a Windows environment, you need to check out Sys Internals. Some of the best tools for Windows right there. All right, we've got Hardware Info. Oh, that's cool. They give us several utilities here. So this, if you launch these, these will give you information on your CPU, GPU, different things like that. So yes, I have the Ryzen 7, guys. It's a beast. Very cool. And what else? You got a command prompt, Windows setup, NT setup shortcut. I think, is this if you want to install? I think maybe this is if you actually want to install Windows on this, uh, whatever you're doing here. Like if you're booted into a laptop and you just want to put it on there. That's cool. All right, let's back out of here. I 
think we went through everything. So obviously you could spend a lot more time in here, guys, but again, I really think Herons uh, gets it right. They, they stick to the fundamentals of what we all want to see in a WinPE environment. Uh, if you have this on your flash drive in your pocket, you can't really go wrong if you're trying to diagnose, troubleshoot, backup, recovery, unlock, you name it. Uh, even install like we saw. So here is uh, Boot CD PE Windows 10. Two thumbs up. I don't know if it's my favorite, but it's definitely a go-to. And like I said, you can't go wrong. You can, you can pretty much fix what you need to fix with here. And so let me know where here is Boot CD ranks on your guys' list of Windows PE environments. I did get a new one, um, a new Win PE environment. Let's let's uh, reset this VM. And I won't do a review on it in this video, but I'll show you what I'm talking about. And then probably in another video, we'll take a look at that. So let me reset this guy. And this will take us back to our Ventoy USB. Again, the ultimate USB version 2. The GOAT, the greatest of all times, the best USB ever made. Get over there and check it out, guys. You, you really need to pick one of these up. All right, so it's going to be under multi-tools. Here it is. So it's the Anktech or Anktech. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Uh, one of my viewers on another video told me about this, so I wanted to check it out. It looks like it has, um, I'm just testing it right now. That's why there's no icon. Don't worry. If I put this on here, it'll definitely have an icon later. But it looks like it has two ISOs once you boot into it. So it's got a mini and a full. So stick around, guys. Uh, well, not in this video, but subscribe, turn on notifications, because I'm going to be doing a review of this, and supposedly it's really good. I've, I've done a little bit of Googling on it, and I've never used it, but from what I've seen on screenshots, it looks pretty sweet. So we're going to have to check that one out as well. All right, guys, if you stuck around at the end of the video, I really appreciate it. Do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. Please subscribe. I really need the subs, and I look at the analytics, guys. 91% of you guys are not subscribers, so consider subscribing. I really appreciate it. All right, guys, I hope you all have a great day. Until the next one, take care.